Hi, it's Michael from Spotty Creek Farm. Today we're going to talk about our goat fence and how we built it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe buttons down below so that we can help our channel grow. We are trying very hard to do that at this point. Thank you so much. So I get this question a lot. How do you make fences for the goats? Well, here you can see our fence and we have hot wire on top, hot wire on the bottom. It's about five feet tall. This is the hot wire on the top and we've got it posted in and we do, do the same thing on the bottom. And then for the inside corners, this is how we've done it. We've used an insulator, run it, the corner wire around the insulator, twisted it several times, try not to get shocked here, and then <clears throat> run it around the post and then run the hot, hot wire through it. Um, as you can see, we've got a bridge here to take the hot wire down to the bottom and a bridge to get it to the other pasture. And this seems to keep these, this is a four by two um, fence. Again, I think it's 54 inches tall, if I recall correctly. Um, and then on the post, it's stapled in, as you can see, corners always have additional bracing so you can see the corner post is right here this is the bracing to this post this post is concreted in this post you don't necessarily have to concrete in but we do just to be sure and then on this other side we corner post concreted in this post honestly i don't know remember why we did it this way because uh, of the gate i think we want to add extra support to the gate. So this is concreted in, this is concreted in, and this is concreted in. And that supports our long gate. So, oh, and then we have, it's a great little thing. I don't know if you can see it flashing or not. You should be able to. That is an indicator that when it's flashing, that means my fence is operating fine and not grounding out anywhere. If I notice it not flashing, then the fence is grounded out somewhere. And that just connects to your hot wire. And then at the black leads to a ground. And it does not ground out your fence. And it's made by the electric fence company. Um, I think we bought it. I believe we bought it on uh, Tractor, uh, Tractor Supply at tractorsupply.com. On our gates, all, both our big gates and our small gates this is one of our tractor gates that we get the tractor through we always buy the ones with the pre-done four by two slots on the bottom they're welded to the gate and they work very well um, and because we have dogs that like to try to get out we put some more fencing four by two fencing up here and zip tie it in uh, we have to replace the zip ties every once in a while but it's really not that big a deal but that's how we make our fence uh, it's pretty simple. It's, there's nothing extravagant to it, but it does keep the goats in. The, the hot wire on the bottom is, is highly important, and that's honestly the one that keeps the goats in. The hot wire on top is more for predators. Um, we have probably less predator pressure than a lot of people around here, but that's because on all four sides of us, we've got neighbors with pastures with Great Pyrenees dogs or other kinds of dogs. And so we've got kind of a buffer between us and the coyotes. Um, we haven't seen one on our property ever. Uh, we hear them in the background, but we never see them. So, But that's our fence, and it, it seems to work pretty well. Thank you all. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And glad you all were here. Bye.